Welcome to Cooking for Baby and Me. Today's featured ingredient is turnips, and we'll be making turnip potato cakes and spicy turnips and greens. Joining me in our Morris Black Kitchen is Dr. Jennifer Janko of St. Luke's University Health Network and Chef Anthony Bonnet. So you. these Thank recipes you, sound Hi. great. Yep, we have and turnips. We start? Challenging ingredient for, for children. Well, but one that you're going to show us how to do it. Yes. Exactly. exactly. We're, and, challenge and accepted. One of the first things that I wanted to say was that uh, I always like when people say turnips, I like to think of a, what is called a rutabaga, which is a type of turnip. Okay. They're a lot sweeter. They have a lot more sort of a palatable flavor, especially for children. Mm -hmm. They're easy to use in recipes. Mm -hmm. They don't have that kind of acidic uh, uh, tartness, like okay. a radish flavor of okay. a, a turnip. So I feel free to use either one in a minute. Okay. I already have some, some blanched potatoes, Yukon Gold okay. potatoes and rutabagas okay. that, have been, that have been cooked very soft. Oh, Let's okay. put a little tiny bit of stock in there just to get them, get them going. Okay. okay. And as soon as they start warming up, you can feel free to start mashing. All righty, I'm ready to get, mash. Get in there and start mashing. Okay. Okay, and what do we okay. have over here? I love turkey sausage. It goes mm -hmm. great with turnips. Turnips okay. work okay. really well with spicy, right. kind of bold flavored food. I didn't food. know that. So it's turkey sausage, there's onions. Mm -hmm. We started sauteing them together. Okay, we have okay. some turnips that have already been diced and blanched again in okay. salted water. Okay, same turnips gonna, like we're using we're here. We're going to add them in, same exact ones, right. So this we're just sauteing together. We're going to mm -hmm. put a little garlic in there. And, and when you blanch the turnips, you're just peeling them and yeah. putting them in boiling water for about a minute or two. Yep, I think you're good if you want to get a little more forceful. All right, and, and i got to really put a little mash. elbow in it. All right, I'm they're, mashing. They're very difficult to work with mm -hmm. sometimes. Just make sure you're working on a, on a very flat surface. Mm -hmm. You don't want them to roll on you. And you can feel free to peel them just like that. Okay. If you're using it in two different recipes, cut it in half. I think you can blanch these whole just like this. I like that idea. And, take them and out, make it just and a then little bit. Nice nice this is what's called a power blend. Nice. I got and, a lot, and of, what's lot of half pepper the power flake. Blend? It has turnip greens. It has spinach and it has kale in it. So you can oh, use the nice. greens from right. the turnips. And um, what are some nutritional values of turnips? Well, you're going to get some uh, important vitamins. You're going to get your um, potassium. You're going to get vitamin C. Um, so it's a nice source of fiber. And so really little babies could get a little bit gassy with that. But older kids need something to kind of help their digestive system move. And so it's a great way if your child's having that problem to use some turnips in their diet. I have some pancake mix already made. And we'll start making our pancakes. Okay. So just take a so little spoonful. So they're like potato pancakes, just add it but in. But instead of just the plain starch without the benefit, you sneak it in. They don't even know what's in there. Now that you have your, yep. your face yep. mashed, Ma add let's the go other. ahead and yep, fold in your flour and okay. your egg. However much cheese you like to use, it's really just an added thing to give a little flavor to it. Uh, you can see our pancakes are looking great. They really and are. Tilt away from yourself just so you don't burn. Look at that. Nice pancakes. Oh, nice and golden brown. So let things finish up. The only thing okay. you're really cooking in here is the egg. And it looks so nice with it, all the different yeah, colors it's so in it. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. I think when food looks good, people, you know, children, families, people are more likely to eat it if it just mm -hmm, has that mm -hmm. nice you appearance. Would typically, I mean, your kids could eat this meal, too. Oh, absolutely. You this would typically make this with potatoes, but the fact that we add the turnips really gives it something special. Mm -hmm. Right, this isn't just potatoes. Nice earthiness to it. And we got our pancakes. They look great. They came out really nice. Like I said, you can top with a little Parmesan cheese. You can top with a little cheese for your kids. Gorgeous. Let's try the potato pancakes first. Okay. They do look great. Really tasty. Mm. I'm getting so good. Really good. good. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't even know turnip were in there, would you? No, you wouldn't, nor will your child. This oh, looks yeah. great. I know it's going to be awesome. So let's stay right here. Okay. Really good. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Flavorful. Mm. 